Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and in this particular video, we're going to do a nice, interesting geometry problem that involves circles. Now, specifically, what we're going to try to do is to find the area of the shaded region, this yellow region right here, that looks like a ring. And the question is to uh, the question is actually saying find the exact area. Okay, so that means something in mathematics. And we're given uh, the information about these circles. The larger circle here has a radius of 12 centimeters, and the smaller circle has a radius of 6 centimeters. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comments section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second, and then I'm going to fully explain how to do a problem like this, which is a pretty common type of uh, geometry problem, and really emphasize what it means to find the exact area or the exact volume of a figure in geometry. Okay, this again has um, a very specific meaning. So if you're not quite sure, stick around for a couple minutes. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer. Again, we want to find the exact area of this yellow ring, given the information. And the answer is the following. We have 108 pi centimeters squared. Now, if you have some sort of decimal, it's uh, possible that you are on the right track. But if you have a decimal, what you uh, uh, have is an approximation. That's assuming you did it right. So that's an approximate uh uh, value for the area, not the exact area. Uh, so I'm going to explain this uh, more uh, thoroughly here in a second, but there is only one answer, and this is it, 108 pi centimeters squared. And if you got that right, that is outstanding. Let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you know how to calculate the exact area of a circle. They'll be very, very impressed with that information. They'll be like, wow, the next time I need some math tutoring, I'm going to call you up. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. And the first thing we want to think about is, well, how can we even calculate the area of this region in here, this yellow region? I mean, you're not dealing with a circle. It's basically a ring, right? So, you know, effectively, let me just kind of draw right here. You know, you got this kind of deal going on, right? So, but if you look at a ring, right, I mean, I kind of defined it here, uh, the thickness of the ring, okay, this uh, span right there, can be defined if we look at the circles, the uh, inner circle, okay, that kind of um, creates a boundary of the ring, and then, of course, we have an outer circle as well. So, I kind of made that super clear here, but uh, sometimes, you know, you might be given a problem where it's not so obvious what to do. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, I'm still confused. Well, let's go ahead and think about how we can find the area of this yellow shaded region. All right, so what we need to do is the following, okay? We want to calculate the area of the big circle, right? So here we have uh, the circle that's um, basically it's two circles that define the ring. So we want to kind of think about this large circle with the radius of R, capital R. So we would find the area of this, and then we can find the area of the small circle with the radius of the small uh, lowercase r right there. So once we have these two areas, if we subtract this circle away from this, what are we left with? Well, we'd be left with this little ring portion right here, okay? And that's how you kind of calculate the area of this particular shaded region. Now, we're dealing with circles here, but this is, you know, a pretty common uh, technique or method uh, or way to think about various problems. So let's suppose you have like a rectangle and a circle here, and the question was find the area of the shaded region, was, uh, which is defined right here. You would basically calculate the area of the rectangle and subtract away the area of the circle. So this is how you want to kind of look at these particular problems. Now, uh, with this, you need to know how to find the area of a circle. And of course, that involves a formula. And here is the formula right here. This is a particular formula that you should commit 
to your long-term memory. Let me kind of just draw a little stick figure here, and here is another stick figure. So let's suppose this is you and I, and we're learning mathematics. There are uh, formulas. You're going to get hit with so many formulas throughout algebra and geometry beyond. Some formulas, you know, uh, you just kind of put in your notes, right? You're in your notes, and you're going to be, oh, I have all these formulas. You know, and that's why you take notes and you have reference, right? Because you get a lot of formulas, and you should reference your notes to kind of recall exactly what these formulas are. But then there's other formulas that are so common in mathematics, you want to put these and store them in your brain, in your long-term memory, okay? And this is one of them along with a, you know, maybe a dozen other uh, kind of formulas and stuff that you're going to need. They're very, very common. So you're going to be kind of expected by a lot of math teachers, by the way, to kind of know these basic area and volume formulas along with some others as well. Okay. So, you know, hopefully you knew what the, uh, the formula was for the area of a circle. It's area equals pi r squared, where r is the radius. Now, if you forgot this formula, I'll be, again, I'm going to encourage you to memorize it. And um, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the problem right now. Now, before I do this, though, if you didn't know the area, or, I'm sorry, if you didn't know the formula for the area of a circle and you're, like, and you're saying to yourself, oh, okay, I can do this problem now, go ahead and pause the video and see what you can come up with. Again, the question's um, asking about the exact area. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. So here's our two circles. The larger circle has a radius of 12 centimeters, and the smaller circle has a radius of 6 centimeters. So let's go ahead and calculate the area for each of those respective circles. So here's the large uh, circle here. So area equals pi r squared. The radius is 12 centimeters. We'll so plug in a 12. 12 squared is 12 times 12, or 144 times pi. And we're dealing with centimeters, so the area is going to be in centimeters squared. Okay, so this is the area of the large circle. And then the area of the smaller uh, circle is area equals pi r squared. The radius is 6 centimeters, so we're going to get 6 squared or 36 pi. Now, you might be saying, hey, it, why don't you just write this as pi times 36? Well, it's uh, more common and more mathematically correct to put your pi at the the end of a number. Okay, have a number and then have pi. So this is the area of the small circle. This is the area of the large circle. Now, before we can continue any further, let's talk about this word exact, or right? this concept of uh, exact area versus an uh, approximation. Now, some of you might be saying, well, let's, let's take, for example, the small circle. Like, shouldn't we go into our calculators and get a value of pi, you know, 3.14, on and on and on, and then multiply it by 36. Well, yes, we could do that. But just so you know, okay, that now becomes an approximate value of the circle. So mathematically, here, this is the equal sign. You would write area is approximately whatever that number is going to be. Uh, this kind of two squiggly um, equation uh, bars like this, right? This is approximation in mathematics. This is exactly equal. So if you write something down, you need to you know, be very familiar with that you know, notation. But let's just kind of um, step back here. Here's how we're going to get the final answer. Let me just explain this now, then we'll go back to the answer. Okay, so pi is a, a symbol, but it represents exactly the entire value of 3.14 on and on and on and on and on. So this is what we call an irrational number in mathematics. This decimal that goes out to infinity. It doesn't repeat and it doesn't terminate. Now, the value of pi, let's just kind of take a look at a circle. So here is a circle and here is the diameter of the circle. And the distance around the circle is called the circumference. So pi, by definition, is the circumference of any circle divided by its diameter. So when we do that with any circle, we're going to end up with this number, this value, 3.14. And again, this goes on and on and on and on and on. There's no way we can uh, get the full exact decimal value of pi because it goes on infinitely. Now, of course, if you need an actual value to work with to kind of get a sense of uh, the area, you would use an approximation. And the more digits you use, the uh, better your more accurate your answer is going to be. 
Okay, so just so you understand that, but as soon as you start using digits, your area now becomes an approximation, okay, or your volume, whatever the case is, if it involves pi. So if you want an exact answer, you always leave pi in your answer like this, because this little symbol here represents the entire full infinite value of pi. Okay, so here, for example, the area of the small circle is exactly 36 pi centimeters squared. So again, when you hear this word exact, uh, you know, area or exact volume, and you're dealing with uh, pi, you got to leave the pi alone. Okay, don't convert that into a decimal. All right, so here we have the large circle, and here we have the small circle, and all we're going to do to find the area of the ring is simply subtract away uh, the small circle from the large circle. So we have 144 pi centimeters squared minus 36 pi centimeters squared. So all we're going to do is subtract the coefficients, and that's going to give us exactly 108 pi centimeters squared to be the uh, for the area of the ring. Okay, so hopefully this kind of clear thing, any confusion up that you may have with uh, the exact area or the exact volume of something. And, uh, you know, this is this type of problem is very, very common geometry problem. Matter of fact, if you need additional help with this, I'm going to leave the uh, direct link to my full geometry course in the description as well. I do a lot of type of problems like this. So knowing how to uh, find the area of and area and volume of regions, something like this, this would be defined as a region. I'm kind of calling it a ring because it kind of looks like a ring, but uh, this is a pretty typical type of geometry problem. Okay, so hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.